arrows, the ninja won't die. But will he be able to catch them and defeat the forces of evil ranged against them? It's a classic Shadow Warrior showdown. A lone ninja. Everybody's ready? Evil assassins at every turn. And Jamie. Archers, draw. If this were a movie, the ninja's victory would be assured. But this isn't a movie. It's more like a firing squad. What? And the ninja just took three direct hits. Okay, stand down. Well, Anthony is absolutely a good sport. But uh, so far under battle conditions, it's not looking good for the myth. No arrows have been caught. Archers, draw. At this range, with no cover, the ninja is a sitting duck. So Adam decides to give him a bit more room to move. <laughs> okay, all right, stand down. In the interest of giving Anthony an even better chance, I'm gonna back up all three of the archers 10 paces, another 10 meters, so they'll all be at about 60 feet away from him before they fire. At a greater distance, the archers are less accurate. And the ninja gets close. But still can't quite get a grip. All right, stand down. Let's reset. The myth is looking like it's totally busted. But to settle it once and for all, Adam has one more option. I want to give Anthony the best chance of success at this. So I'm going to have the archers all holding their arrows down until they fire. So he'll actually have a little bit of lead time seeing the flutter of their bow before they fire. He finally caught one. So is it a case of myth busted or plausible? In the battle scenario, Anthony was in fact able to catch an arrow. Although in a real battle situation, you only have one chance. And Anthony took a number of hits before he got it right. Our ninja did spectacularly when he could see an archer go up and release. He had the time to anticipate. But without that, I think we'd have one dead ninja. 